Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing good. First of all, thank you so much for your appreciation for my last video. Very happy to know that many of you found it really helpful. So this is another video prior Ramadan. In one of my recent videos I had mentioned as we are in a new and clean apartment, this doesn't need much of a deep clean. But there are areas that needed an organization. I recently even mentioned about IKEA Dubai providing free delivery to Oman for products purchased over 20 Oman Rials. We anyway wanted kids study tables for both of them, which I couldn't find a good one here. So it was the right time we found the offer from IKEA. Along with that, I ordered few other items for our little apartment. We'll show you that in some time. Having said about home, organizing, decor and all such, I think anyone would love to own a dream home for themselves. That's when we too started our venture which is a family venture of which I had done a couple of videos. And I'm sure you all haven't forgotten about it because I still get messages inquiring about properties in it. If you are new to my channel and not getting any idea of what I'm talking about, it's a real estate website portal we started few months back. That's findestate.in. We are still working on expanding our project outside Kerala because we definitely don't want to stick on to a particular region. And if you are someone outside Kerala looking for investing in properties in Kerala, you are most welcome. Presently, new properties have been added, some of which are in beautiful locations in Kerala. And if you don't know, let me tell you, we verify the properties before listing on our website. So this assures safety for our customers. And if you are someone who want to sell your property, you are again welcome to get your property listed after verification. Here you can directly contact the owner for a particular plot or property. Just click any of the property or the plot that you are looking for, send message directly to the owner and you get your reply. So don't forget to check out findestate.in for an investment. Back to our apartment here. And this is my most favorite hobby. It's assembling the furnitures. I love doing this job. It's like a puzzle for me. You see the instructions and fix the furniture as per the manual provided. I have done so many earlier and have put few videos too. If I remember, the last one I did was Kids Bunk Bed from Riyadh. It was really thrilling and exciting for me because it was for the first time I was fixing a bed that would double bed which is a bunk bed. It's never that hard as it looks. The manual perfectly gives you all the instructions to carry out step by step and it can never go wrong. You need to bring out all the patience you have in you. You can finish it off the work easily. One study table is ready. The chairs were too simple. It needed just a minute to finish. In fact, fixing the same type furniture the second time was a bit boring because it was not as exciting as the first. It was repeat mode. But anyway, I wanted to finish it on this day itself. It was late night but still wanted to complete and only then sleep. I didn't want it to go to the next day because I had planned other organizing tasks for the next day. 
and there it is. Now kids can erase their books and study at a proper place which is very important. Had gone for some more shopping to buy few organizers, pots and plates, few sheets and such. I needed some more spice jars for my pantry. This was ordered along with a study table, just a couple of organizers for kids. Now this is something I badly wanted for our living room, come tiny area. We'll show it after some time. These are microfiber cloths, a set of three, very useful for cleaning the countertop especially. Few clocks and other. This is gloves, good quality one at reasonable rate from IKEA. I have the same in our Kerala home and I use it while gardening. Now for fixing the curtains. These are floral net curtains which I love the most. I know the net curtain is very long and I won't need that long. So I took the measurements and fold it up to how much I need. I fold it to the needed length and pin it up so it's easy to get it right. I give long stitches in case we need to change apartment or use it later where the length has to be shorter or longer. It will be easy to remove the stitch if it's long one. And there it goes. This looked much better than the blackout ones. And I love these string lights which gives that cozy effect. I don't know how but I lost all the clips I had taken on how I fixed these fairy lights. Had bought few hooks from Lulu, got few very tiny and transparent ones so it looked neat. Bought two cushions from IKEA. I had a couple of them already. Bought these colorful cushion covers. These are plain but bright colors. All sheets and duvet covers were a mess inside the cupboard. Had to fold them neatly. This is a set of duvet with one duvet cover and two pillow covers. Folding actually is a bit relaxing for me. Do comment if it's the same for you. This is another set of duvet cover I have. Fitted sheets are easy to spread and it stays in place. But the folding part takes more effort than the flat sheets. However, we have more of it than the flat ones.
I went to organize my kitchen at the end as it's very time consuming there. Though I had given a bit of organizing earlier, it becomes a mess easily. So I wanted to reorganize before Ramadan for easy access of pots, pans and other utensils. I have small spice bottles which I changed the location from the cabinet into a drawer. I took out everything from the drawer and gave a quick clean up, then arranged it inside. I needed more jars but couldn't find the same one, so bought a similar one and these are at very reasonable and affordable price. I love the square shaped ones rather than the round one. It looks neat after the arrangements. I will definitely need a label, I will be doing that later. These are palm sugar crystals that I add into my tea. That's semolina. I will need it daily in Ramadan for preparing the warm semolina drink we have right after we break our fast. I have done the recipe many times, will be again showing the same in coming Ramadan days. I got these organizers, don't know what exactly these are called, very useful to add an extra storage space in your cabinet. I found these in Al Kabal discount center. You won't find the same arrangements every time in my home because I keep changing the locations as I love doing that, be it in kitchen or living room for our furnitures or any such. It makes me feel like being in a new place. And moreover, it's better to do so keeping in mind of the quality of the furnitures because you end up cleaning all the dust from those areas. It gives you a neat home too. I rather keep regularly using pots and pans at easy access so that I don't have to climb up using some steps. I have few iron karais I bought from Amazon. Shall link those below in the description box. These stainless steel pots are what some of you keep asking me in the comment section. This one is Sofram brand. I do have Kokmas brand as well. My mom's stainless steel pots are all of Sofram brand. I like both brands as they are very good quality ones. My pressure cooker is again Sofram brand. Here again I put this extra rack for keeping all the lids. Earlier I used a basket and now I can use that basket for some other purpose.
I had mentioned this earlier too. My mom used to tell me in my childhood, you know a house is clean when its toilets, bathrooms and kitchen are clean. And it's true. These areas get dirty really quickly and easily. So keeping those areas clean and tidy is very crucial to keep away all the germs. When I have guests coming home, though these areas will be neat and tidy, I try to add more fragrance especially in the toilets. If you remember seeing my Riyadh vlogs, I had this wooden chopping board from Riyadh and hadn't used it while I was in Kerala because I already had another one there. So I kept that away in the cargo box. Now how I maintain this well is by rubbing lemon and salt which I don't do all the time but I make sure I apply oil all over once a week. So this task adds into my Thursday routine. I do this every Thursdays as a week ends. You can use olive oil or sunflower oil. It helps in the shelf life of my wooden board. So that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Stay tuned for more Ramadan vlogs and recipes. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.